All right, we're in Tampa, Florida at the DigitalMuscle.com Athlete Seminar. Of course, this gentleman to my left, John Hansen and the great Mel Chancy to my right. You know, this has turned out to be a really fun thing. Tim Gardner, you know, brought this together, brought a whole bunch of um, distinguished guests and NPC athletes uh, to town this weekend. And, you know, Mel, it's become a real trend around the NPC to, to bring these seminars out and uh, kind of introduce athletes to really what it's all about to be a part of, you know, not just the sport in general, but uh, the NPC. You know, like I said, in, inside when it was my turn to speak. It's awesome that um, these athletes have the opportunity at these uh, work seminars and work camps, so you call them, because they get to talk to the John Hansons, the people there, Pete Fancher, the district chairman, Tim, yourself, that's been around the industry for you know a good 30 years. So it's awesome that they get to take advantage of us. I'm 100% loving these work camps. I love to come out to them, and it's just I'm excited for the athlete about this. You know, John, listening to some of your stories, it really brought back some just great memories, and especially for those of us who appreciate the rich history of bodybuilding, you're sort of the embodiment of that. You're also the embodiment of the natural bodybuilding movement. You are one of the faces of that sort of subsection, that corner of the industry. Um, a lot of things have happened over the last couple of years that have sort of pulled the attention away from the big guys, um, starting with the under-212 division. You know, starting with the men's physique division, starting with the new classic physique division. There's just so many things that it almost seems like we're talking more about that stuff than we are the big guys. Yeah, I think a lot of people are still excited about those days of bodybuilding, the 70s and 80s, and they like that look. And I think this classic physique division might bring some of that back, you know, because they're going to be looking for that V taper, you know, the, the classic type of physique. And also there's going to be an emphasis on posing. And I think that's going to be exciting because now guys are starting to get into that classical type of posing. They're going to look at guys like Frank Zane and Lee Labrada and Bob Paris and try and emulate some of those poses. And I think that's going to bring a lot of bit of the uh, artistic flair back to bodybuilding, which bodybuilding is a sport and an art. And I hopefully that's going to bring back some of that art form back to bodybuilding. There's no question the, the classic physique division, it will showcase the art form of bodybuilding. But I want to stay with you just for one more second. Let's talk about the actual physique. Uh, those people out there who are contemplating the new division, what are you expecting the trend to be from a physique standpoint? Kind of put into perspective for uh, those people who are just being introduced to this new division. Well, I think they're going to be looking for uh, sort of the old school type of physique with the wide shoulders, a smaller waist, uh, more of an emphasis on symmetry and proportion, which is, again, how it used to be back in the old days. They're going to be looking for that old school type of physique, and I think there's going to be more of an emphasis on that instead of just muscle mass and just conditioning. They're going to bring back more of the symmetry, hopefully more of the symmetry and the shape aspect of it. And that's the way, you know, bodybuilding used to be an emphasis on that. When you had guys like Frank Zane and Muhammad McAway winning pro shows, those guys were not big guys, but they placed an emphasis more on the symmetry, and you were a, a smaller guy could be allowed to win a show back then. It wasn't all about how big they were and how ripped they were. Mel, speaking of big, you know, you're a guy who has been around this sport for, for a long time, and you've really gotten a chance to get to know, got to know a lot of the legendary, you know, big physiques over the years. When you see the trend and when you see the direction, you know, I know Jim Mannion and the NPC and Steve Weinberg, they work real hard to create divisions really for all shapes and sizes, for all types of physiques. And I think at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. But what do we need to do to get in a little more life injected in the big men's open division? Whew. Well, I think this new classic physique is awesome. Like John said, it's, it, it allows more people to come and, you know, and, and, and be a part of it. But instead, guys can't be mass monsters. <clears throat> Everyone can't be a Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman. <clears throat> so I, I think that's good. As far as the life into the men's, I think, you know, we're going to see it now with, with posing counts. You know, it's, it's going to count now where, you know, the years it got away from it. So, you could have one of these guys that looked incredible out there but didn't know how to show it off and it didn't wow the fans or anything like that. So I think that is what's going to bring the life back into it because now they have to pose. They have to get their, their routines down. It's just not all about getting huge and getting up on stage no more that you know, we did for the last you know, how many years. I think in this next year here, we're going to see quite the change. The stomachs are going to be held tight. No one's going to be standing off to the side, relax like that no more, because you're going to lose points now. So it's, it's, it's etched in their heads like this is part of our whole deal here. We have to pose. We have to ha you know, get our routines down. So I think that's a plus for our sport. A lot of things are changing. One of them is also the fact that uh, you have been a fixture in this industry for a very long time, um, and you are making the transition into promoter. Talk about your new event at the end of the year. Yes, uh, we have on uh, October 28th and 29th, we have the... The Mel Chancy Classic, it's me and Tim Gardner together. Thank God I have Tim as a partner. And um, we have a, a pro bikini, 
um, Pro Classic Physique, and then of course the NPC Qualifier, and that's in Port Charlotte, where it's my home now, where I have the gym, the second chance. So I'm very excited to this. This is new to me, brand new to me. I've been, you know, at the shows for so long and at everybody's show, but I never really paid attention to how much detail is put into this promotional stuff. <clears throat> and now that I'm seeing it, I appreciate it. And I'm very thankful that Tim's right by my side walking me through this. And I'm excited to, you know, bring the, to bring the, the, the best show. I have the passion for it and been around for so long, like you said. And, and now I'm moving in a different direction and I, I couldn't be happier. Well, you're doing great things. And, and of course, John, before we wrap it up and get out of here, I know you got some events this year and a whole lot of things that you're involved with as well. Yeah, I'm also promoting a show. It'll be my third year. It's the uh, Natural uh, Suncoast Classic, and we used to have it in Tampa, but this year we're moving it to St. Pete, so it's going to be on the beach. It's going to be Memorial Day weekend. It's going to be the St. Pete Clearwater Marriott. So, uh, yeah, we're hoping to get a, a bigger event this year than ever before. All right. And, Dan, we want to say to you, like, this digital muscle where, you know, we couldn't be more proud of you. You yourself been around for, I don't want to say how many years because we're still young, but many, many years. And it's awesome that, that what you're doing right now. And it's awesome that, you know, me, John, Tim, we all get to be a part of this. This is the start. So we're seeing it from, you know, from the ground off, from the Arnold on as your debut, so to say. Yeah. So we're proud of you for that, brother, because it's like you bring so much to the table for everybody, for the athletes, to, for the interviews and stuff. Where back in the day, they didn't have this. We talked about that in, in, in the workshop here. This wasn't around back in the day. This is something to take full advantage of, you guys. These workshops, Dan with the digital muscle and, and bringing everything to life to the sport, it's, it's just a new era, you know? You know Mel, you know, I, I appreciate you saying that. There's just so many great stories, we, like we talked about inside when we were giving our seminars. Joe Weider used to say, this sport, as much as it's about the physiques, it's about the stories. And as we've yeah. learned today, there's so many great stories. And we try to do our part to bring those stories to the forefront and, and sort of celebrate, you know, why we are all so committed and passionate about this. But John and Mel, I appreciate you doing this. And uh, I'm Dan Solomon for the NPC NewsOnline.com.